Let's take a look at a few alterations to the trig functions. And here I'm, I'm multiplying sine of x by 3. And this is called an amplitude change. Amplitude. Tude, T-U-D-E, sorry. Amplitude change. And what happens is this. Your normal sine function would look sort of like this. Okay, I'm going to just do the basic wave of one period. It would sort of look like this, wouldn't it? If this is 1 and this is negative 1. It goes up to 1, down to 0, down to negative 1, and up to 0 again. And what happens here is we're going to multiply every point by 3. Let me make this look a little nicer here. There, it's more like that. And when we do that, all the zeros remain 0, because if, if you put in, say, 0, and you'll get sine of 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, so all these points are this, uh, on the uh, graph of the sine of 3 of x. But every time you go up as high as 1, you're actually going to hit 3, because 3 times 1 is 3. And every time you hit uh, a negative 1, it's going to be 3 times negative 1. And uh, all the other points are going to be between negative 3 and positive 3. So you're roughly going to get something that looks like this. And if this, well, didn't get it very good, but there, there we go, and make it a little bit better, maybe a little more curvy there. So it looks like the same sine wave, only it goes up as high as 3 and down as low as negative 3. Had it been 5 sine of x, it would go up as high as 5 and down as low as negative 5. Had it been 1 fourth sine of x, it would only go up to 1 fourth and then down to 0. So this controls how high and how low the sine goes, okay? Another thing that can happen, let me see if I've got an eraser here. Another interesting thing that can happen is, let's look at the y equals <coughs> negative cosine x. There's my dog barking. Well, this is just the cosine function, but everything that was positive is now negative, and everything that's negative is now positive. So this is 1, this is negative 1, and if you've watched the other videos, you know that the normal cosine curve would look like this, wouldn't it? And go like, I'm sorry, it would go like this and end up over here, and that would be one wave of the cosine. But now the whole thing's tipped upside down, so it just kind of goes the opposite way. So a negative cosine wouldn't look like this, but it would look like this, upside down. So a negative in front of it tips it upside down. So if I had negative 2 cosine, for example, it would go as low as negative 2 and as high as positive 2, but it would be tipped upside down.